Hello, and welcome to Enchanted Rose Costumes. So today's video is slightly different than usual. I bought myself two mermaid tails from Fin Fun. I bought these tails because around 10 years ago, I used to love swimming in my mono fin. I still have the mono fin that I originally was swimming in, which is the Finnis foil, which is this one right here. Super comfortable mono fin, definitely recommend it. Anyways, I never purchased a tail for it. I originally wanted to make myself a silicone tail. Anyways, flash forward 10 years later, I kind of fell down a rabbit hole on YouTube on mermaiding. The mermaid rabbit hole I fell down were actually three mermaids that are actually based in BC, and that is Courtney Mermaid, Nerd Maid Faith, and Mermaid Zelda. So I watched several of their videos and then I found out they were in BC and I just, I got so excited that I decided to buy a tail or two of my own. When I originally was planning this video, it was just going to be an unboxing of the mermaid tails and then doing my first swim in the tails. Because I've never actually swum in a fabric tail before. I've only ever swum with the monofin. Now that has actually kind of changed because I joined the mermaiding group in BC, they are actually having a meetup tomorrow. So I have decided that I'm going to quickly, as fast as I can, sew up a mermaid outfit. I think this tail right here really reminds me of the colors of Rapunzel. So the plan for this video is to try and create a Rapunzel themed mermaid outfit. Things that I know is that I want the bathing suit to be a one piece. I'm just more comfortable in a one piece. So that's kind of the route I'm going. Now on the other side of that is I still want it to look like a two piece. So to do that, I have these two fabrics that are gonna create the top of the bathing suit. And then I bought a nude lycra to create the bottom of the bathing suit. I found this picture right here on Pinterest. I'm going to try and recreate her swim top. So the meetup tomorrow starts at one o'clock. And so I'm going to try and get this done by noon so I can be all prepared to get there on time. It is currently 6.30 p.m. right now. So I don't have much time, but hopefully it won't take me too long to throw together a bathing suit. I have an idea in my mind what this is gonna look like. I'm just hoping it comes together. Um, so yeah, it's time to get to work. Okay, so my plan now is to cut this entire bathing suit out of the nude fabric. And then once I've I don't have a time to do a fitting for this, but it's bathing suit fabric, it's lycra, it'll stretch, it should be fine. So I'm going to cut the entire bathing suit out, stitch it together, and then I'm going to cut out the top portion of the bathing suit out of the purple, which will match the sleeves or the, the bodice. And then I'll do a combination of the pink and the purple for the little stripey bits on her sleeves. So essentially I am just creating a nude bodysuit and then attaching a shirt on top of it. Hopefully it uh, goes as easy <laughs> as it sounds. And hopefully this isn't too revealing. I think if it only stretches a little bit, it'll be fine. So if it stretches too much, it might be a little bit revealing. But you know what? We will cross that bridge when we get there. It is quarter to 11 right now. I've got the main part of the bathing suit cut out and I kind of safety pinned the sides together <laughs> so I could try it on. And this thing is huge. So I don't know where my calculations went wrong. Tried it on though and I've taken it in in some spots so I'm happy with that. Now something I didn't account for was how sheer this is. I'm not going to show you what the uh, mock-up period looked like because I do not want to get demonetized. Um, 
we'll just leave it at that. So anyways, I've done a try on, I've pinned where I need the alterations to be. And now before I can continue, I'm going to attach the Rapunzel bits to this outfit. So here, I will change the angle so I can show you what I mean. Okay, so I've kind of created a semi pattern for this. So the purple lycra is going to be applied to the suit. And then I'm also going to put a triangle of pink lycra underneath so I can create a faux stay effect to get the lacing up the center front of her bodice. So there's that. And then for the hip region, because I only had enough to do one layer of the nude lycra, I am going to be adding a section of purple lycra at the bottom to create a faux bathing suit. This is quite see-through. So for modesty's sake, I'm adding a purple bit to the bottom, which I guess will also work better when I'm not wearing the tail. Just create the two piece effect, but I'm still wearing a one piece. So that is the plan. So I'm going to start cutting out the purple bits and then applying them to here. And then I can sew the whole thing together and hopefully get this done before 1 a.m. Hey, good morning. It is the next day. I think it's around 8.30? It's 8.25. So I've got about four hours to get this put together. So wish me luck.
Okay, we are reaching the end of the main portion of the baby bathing suit being built. So what I've done is I've measured the arm, the neck, and the leg openings, and I've cut elastic to that measurement minus 25%. So that is what I have here now, and I need to put the elastic into these, and then I can add the ribbon up the front, and then if I have the time, I can still add the little sleeves. It is 11.35, so I've got about 20 minutes to get the elastic in, and then put the ribbon in, and then at that point, if I still feel like I have time, I can create the quick little sleeves, and uh, hopefully it all turns out. Okay, the main part of the bathing suit is done. Now it's just time to add the lacing and the sleeves and then it's done. And it is currently 1240. So let's see how fast I can get this done. Okay, I'm gonna go try this on, adjust the ribbons, and then I'll be right back. Okay, that took longer than expected, but so does everything else. Anyways, the center lacing bit is in, and now I'm gonna quickly make the sleeves, and then I gotta leave. Okay, I changed the shape of the sleeves a bit. Um, I decided to round the edges a little bit because it looks how I want it to. So I've cut a bunch of one inch strips and I'm gonna essentially just lay these on top. <laughs>
you enjoyed today's video. <laughs> I had a fun time with this. I'm not gonna lie, it was extremely difficult to find locations to shoot underwater. I called several local pools within an hour's distance and the majority of them said either no tails or no filming. So I had to do all the filming outside and um, it was sort of difficult to find find locations to film. But I got some footage and I'm very happy with how this turned out. I think I I pulled off what I wanted to achieve, so I'm I'm really happy with how this all came out. And I'm using my green screen for the first time, so hopefully this is working. So if you are wanting to get into mermaiding yourself, I definitely recommend Fin Fun for your first mermaid tale. I am not sponsored by them in any way, uh, but I really like their mono fin. It's not as good as the finis foil. I prefer the finis foil, but this comes with the tails and there's a multitude of tails to choose from. I really like it. I'm excited to try out my other tail. And then I also picked up a mermaid swim top from Mermaid Courtney. So I am really excited to try that out and I think it goes perfectly with the other tail that I got. So yeah, I I love how this turned out. I'm excited to uh, do some more swimming. Obviously, this is not my usual content, so um, <laughs> I will I will be coming back to my historical content very soon. I, I just wanted to have a little fun this month, and yeah, this is the result. I'm very happy with this, and I'm excited to get back into the water. That is it for today. I have some really exciting stuff coming out in, I guess, the next couple months, and so I hope you'll stick around for that. And as always, I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you next time. Bye! I feel so cute! <laughs> I definitely like how this turned out. That was, that was a very, oh and I get neighbors watching. <laughs> Gotta love it when neighbors watch. Whatever, they all think I'm weird anyways. <laughs> Part of your world.